You were voted the 57th hottest man in the world by Attitude magazine. Fact. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, Attitude magazine is gay literature. I was voted the 57th hottest man in the world by them last year. Brad Pitt is at 60. I'm hotter than Brad Pitt. <laughs> 57th, no. Joe? Yes, I'm 57th hottest. Man, it, how, out of how many? How many men are in the world? Just three, to, really put, that's <laughs> three, to really put the man's achievement into context. 57 3 billion. Out of 3 billion. Yeah. Wow. Benedict Cumberbatch is at 69. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> they said I could uh, read something, read something from a book, you know, as long as it had some kind of literary merit, you know, as a show about words and everything. So, um, I thought I'd read an extract from the Morrissey autobiography, just because <laughs> I'm a fan and, you know, it's just really, it's really interesting and it's extremely well written. So, um, here's my take on the Morrissey autobiography. <laughs> I think the genius of the show <laughs> but it did exactly what it said on the tin. <laughs> men behaving badly. <laughs> it was about two men whose behaviour was, well, let's just say it left a lot to be desired. <laughs> I remember those days very fondly. It was really good fun. In fact, it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the sofa, watching porn on the telly, Having a couple of beers, talking about wanking, trying to cop off with Leslie Ash. <laughs> and then the car would pick us up to take us to the studio and we'd have to film the show. <laughs> I don't really keep in touch with Cloonsy anymore, but he's off being all successful in everything. He was brilliant in gravity. <laughs> he looks very handsome these days. <laughs> I think he might have had his ears done. <laughs> Good on you, Cloonsy. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a, I've got a poem about. Um, do you want one about a witch? A poem about love? A poem about cubs? Witch. <laughs> witch. So this is a poem about the witches, I guess. A witch frigged herself off with her broom handle. <laughs> That's not on the syllabus, is it? <laughs> Which frigged herself off with her broom handle. Her cat watched on, tired of it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm published. Published poet. <laughs> is it harder to make them rhyme? I thought poems rhyme. I've never made one rhyme. You're not? No. Is, uh, on purpose or could you not? No, I've tried. <laughs> I spent, what I do is I sit down for an hour trying to make one rhyme and then I can't do it, so then I write that sort of thing. <laughs> you could have had, like, wigged, bigged, digged. You're going to need a rhyme for Splinter for uh, verse two. <laughs> Jack lost his virginity in a restaurant owned by Anthony Worrell Thompson and vowed that next time he'd bring enough money to pay the bill. <laughs> I did laugh at that one. Yeah, but <laughs> more because that was a joke about Anthony Worrell Thompson than you. <laughs> did you shag Anthony Worrell Thompson? No! <laughs> There was no shagging of any Warrell Thompsons or any celebrity chefs. It was a happy... Well, she was happy at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> did, it, did it go well? No. It was a disaster. <laughs> what, what, what was the... I'm what? not talking about how well, I lost no. my virginity. <laughs> That's not fair. I don't want to. Yeah. It's just kind of what I said on the night. <laughs> John promises to tell you about his when he loses it. <laughs> got a knitted mascot of myself. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> well, and no. <laughs> wow. I know. A fan knitted this for me. How... I mean, it's... sorry, hold up the head. It's really good. It's quite good. It's not really good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you... Will that bring you luck, do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. There's some weird features to this doll. On, what, what I'm going to be honest with you. Oh. That's quite a weird... <laughs> <laughs> Is this... Wow! Listen, you're doing a lot of acting these days. Uh, how do you prepare for your roles? Just get the script and then just pretend you're someone else. <laughs> it's basically pretending for grown-ups. 
That's actually very similar to one of the reviews I read about you. <laughs> <laughs> what have you played? What are the recent roles? I was uh, Adolfo Pirelli in Sweeney Todd. And then I did a thing for BBC, Ordinary Lies, where I just played myself, really, just to... I put on two stone for that part. Um, <laughs> I mean, nobody asked me to, but I just thought... <laughs> Get in, get into the guy's yeah. mind. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you got a mascot this evening? A what? A mascot. Oh, I think I've misheard that. Mascot? Yeah, mascot. <laughs> I got, um... I got, like, a mascot. That's some of the best acting I've ever seen. <laughs> What Sean a gift? Because I knew we were going to be in the same team. Oh. So in the airport, returning home from Madrid, I got my tobler on. Um, <laughs> I was struggling to think of something to get us just to keep the team morale high. Mm. And then tobler on nine letters for the ideal, but we never got clearance in time from tobler on. So, and they thought we were going to be disrespectful about the brand. <laughs> That's so, crazy. So fuck you, tobler on. <laughs> The only reason the Swiss make chocolate right, is so we don't associate with blood diamonds and Nazi gold. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck you, Switzerland, as well. Yes. <laughs> Here's some backup mascots. Oh, yeah, no, sure, sure. Airplane. Sean, that's for you, mate. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Stole that off the deal or no deal set. <laughs> Mirror. So Toblerone can go and take a long, hard look. <laughs> If you wouldn't mind, John and Greg, just, just for a moment removing your mascots, I need a bit of space for mine. Huh. It's quite a big mascot. And, um... Uh, here it is. It's this. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I was on holiday recently, and I was... Frankly, I was appalled at the price of the banana boat. <laughs> I've got three kids on at me. That's 90 euros. I thought, no. Sorry, Javier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you which 90 one, euros. Which one of your children is...? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. So, I had a few, um, cervezas, <laughs> and uh, I, I stayed up and I made this beauty. And it works brilliantly because you just have to, um... Got to go all the way around here. You made this while you were drunk, yes? I was quite pissed when I made this. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean, that, that, that certainly but that, checks out. That serves not just as a lot of fun for the family. I mean, I paid for the whole holiday with this. Because <laughs> then you get that down there, get all the kids on there, and then, then off I go. <laughs> and there's absolutely no way that you look like the king of the pedos. <laughs> What was your six? Rejoin. Rejoin. Very good. Thank you, it means a lot. <laughs> uh, Alan? We got a bit like that. We both got joiner. Joiner, pretty good. Joiner. Did we get it? Is it right? <laughs> six points for both teams. Um, Ivan, Susie, could they have done any better? Yeah, they could have done, actually. But we, <laughs> we got Ayana and then Lorena, which is the one who makes stirrups. Oh, of course. <laughs> Susie, can you confirm that? Yeah. Because Maker of small bits for horses, you know. You know, like a, a Lorena would. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know there's people specially designed to clean horses' willies? <laughs> <laughs> so there's people specially <laughs> designed <laughs> to clean <laughs> horses' willies. <laughs> there are people that their job is to go and clean horses' willies. Surely they do the rest of the horse while they're there. No, willies it's just, only. Especially they're heavily heavily unionised. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, 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 that... Don't touch the ass. <laughs> Sorry, got Where did you pick up this information from? A friend of mine. OK. Who <laughs> was a comedian, actually. I can't believe it. Susie, you must know. Is there a person that can... <laughs> <laughs> I bet you must know. Oh, <laughs> you must know, Susie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Is anyone's... laughs> <You're not laughs> but I'm going to find out. But why would you care if your horse had a dirty wig? <laughs> 
people could, care about could, their horses. <laughs> <laughs> See that horse on the Grand National today? I mean, well done, it was fast and everything, but what a dirty penis. Oh, <laughs> makes you feel ashamed to be British, doesn't it? <laughs> so, at the end of that, both teams have six points. <laughs> Roisin, did you get it? I don't know. No, she didn't. <laughs> I might have. No, you haven't. Uh, uh, well, how do you think you might have got it? Three times a hundred. Yeah. Um, and... oh... <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs>